we're just pumped about uh, what we get to be a part of here. And it's so much bigger than a building, so much bigger than um, the stage and, mm-hmm. and uh, the different programs, ministries that we offer. It is, it is a movement, really a spirit-filled movement uh, yeah. of God. Well, hey, everybody. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Suzanne. Welcome to the Find and Follow podcast. We're here with our friend Heath. Heath, we're glad you're here. It's good to be here. Thanks for having me. Welcome. Oh, awesome. Um, well, before we get to you, we're going to talk all about you, Heath, and here near far. Mm-hmm. Um, we want to kind of chat a little bit about what's coming up at New City. Yes. Um, so two things we'll kind of hit. There's mm-hmm. a lot of going on, but we'll hit two There's things. There's a lot happening. Um, the first is Next Step, our mm-hmm. Next Step lunch, which I think South Park's doing a lunch we as are. well. Um, mm-hmm. October 27th. And this is really just an opportunity. If you are new to New City, if it's you've been coming for a little bit mm-hmm. and want to know how to get connected, this really this lunch is for you. It's really an opportunity for you to meet some staff at both South Park and Matthews and meet other people who are new. So, mm-hmm. love for you to register. Say online. registration. You got it. Yeah, <laughs> register online for either location. Yes, go to our website. Um, and the next thing we want to um, also mention is um, we just have been talking a lot about our vision. We just had our, um, we're in week two and there was an email that went out with a video from Chris and JJ mm-hmm. that was really, really great. And it had just a lot of details about the process and the timeline and the plan. And so if you didn't get that email, let us know. Please. Um, and it's just a really thorough email. So if you, you know, came on Sunday, mm-hmm. you wanted to hear more, that is a great resource for you. So also head to our website. The website is fantastic here near far. It, uh, yes. The whole thing, but really New just city here near far. Dot us slash HNF. There you go. You got it. We would love for you. There's everything is right there. Yes. So. Awesome. Well, Heath, we're glad you're here. Welcome. Heath is our new Matthews congregation pastor. Um, and Heath, we would love to just have this conversation with you just about the vision here near far, particularly our here bucket. Um, but before we do that, can you introduce yourself? Tell us who you are. And, sure. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Heath Krieger, and my wife's name is Lindsay. Yes. How does she spell it? L-Y-N-D-S-A-Y. Okay. All these Lindsays think they're I know. real special. We uh, are. Yeah. <laughs> they're correct. How many Lindsays yeah. are in our world? How do you spell right? your name? Mm-hmm. L-I. Yeah. So we have A. Yeah. We're still in the I-Y. It's a great name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Lindsay and I have been married for 21 years. Congratulations. Great. Thank you. And we have three beautiful kids. Rhett is 16. Isley is 12, almost 13. And we have our youngest, Lila, who's 10. So, awesome. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And so we live in Virginia Beach currently. Okay. Um, the whole family will transition in December. They'll finish up fall semester at that point. Uh, I'm coming back and forth each week and, and um, sharing messages on Sundays and get to know the team, the congregation. And so it's been great. I'm excited to be here. Awesome. Yay. What do you like to do when you're not at work? I'm not at when work. you're not having to travel back yes. and forth to Virginia Beach. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. um, you're on the car. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I enjoy being outside. Okay. Anything outside. Okay. Uh, whether it's a walk mm-hmm. or a bike ride or playing golf. Okay. Or watching my kids um, do what they love, like cool. soccer or some kind of sport or activity. Um, love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. And we live near the beach right now, at least. Yes. And so love yeah. going out to the watch the sunrise, mm-hmm. sunset, go and get ice cream and just enjoy time with family outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. That's really yeah. cool. It's good. Yeah. Well, Charlotte's a good place. It is. To be outside. Yeah. There's it's a lot like, of like, like greenways and trails and stuff. Most of the year stuff. too. Like yes. you, you can get out even more, I think, than you can in Virginia Beach. Yeah. Yeah. The climate here is awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's great. Yeah. We love it. And we're, we're looking forward to coming back because yeah. we lived here for a number of years uh, before and okay. so yeah. close friends here family here yeah so it feels a lot like a reunion sort of a homecoming because yeah. you were awesome. part of um like both locations this is yeah I right was. like south park and yeah. matthews both legacy churches yeah mm-hmm. uh-huh yeah. yeah i was a senior high pastor at church at charlotte mm-hmm. okay for four or five years back in the day uh and then uh was in a similar position um at new charlotte mm-hmm. um uh so yeah so it's pretty unique pretty yeah unique that is to really have cool. been part of both legacy churches I don't know about you, but man, um, God is such an incredible storyteller, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like, I like that. He is, he is so good at telling stories and just being here is just an answer to prayer, really. Mm-hmm. And I'm so thankful that this is God's story mm-hmm. and uh, I'm able to um, just jump into what he's doing here at New City and here in Charlotte and uh, to be able to uh, reconnect with 
uh, friends and family has been just tremendous. So Mm -hmm. that's exciting. Exciting things Mm -hmm. ahead. Yeah. 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 What's that like? Because this week we focused on like the history, Mm -hmm. right? Like as we move forward, we kind of took a look back at like, Mm -hmm. here's where South Park came from. So history and this is where Matthews came from. Like, what's that like for you um, to like come back to a place that you've been, you know, as we go forward? I bet that's such a unique position to be in. Yeah. What's that like? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's really, really cool. Um, cause I'm, I'm, I'm the same yet different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You yeah. Know, we all yeah. evolve and, and grow and, yeah. and learn through different mm-hmm. ups and downs mm-hmm. of life. And so, um, you know, I, I, I am, am grateful for all the experiences I've had cool. and, um, and certainly am just looking forward to just seeing all that God will do. Yeah, and um, it's cool. I think as I look back at those experiences at both legacy churches, I'm just so thankful for um, just all that I learned mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. during those during those chapters of life, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm grateful for the friendships that were developed, cool. and uh, and now to be a part of a new city is yeah. such a joy. Like yeah. sometimes I have to pinch myself. Like mm, that's cool. Like is this a dream or yeah. is this for real? <laughs> Am I you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Cool. Lindsay and I, we spent a few months just praying about it mm-hmm. and just, cool. uh, you mentioned here near far, we're just so yes. pumped mm, about yeah. the vision that God has given this church mm-hmm. uh, to reach people, the love of Jesus here near and far. Awesome. And so we wouldn't move here if it weren't for yeah. that big, awesome vision that, mm-hmm. that God's given us. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, that's really cool. It's yeah. awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah. Suzanne, um, yes. would you mind kind of like chatting a little bit, um, you don't have to get too many details, but just about like South Park, mm-hmm. like where it came from. Cause I know Chris talked a lot about like, and he's shown these pictures of maybe the history, but like, and how does that tie into the story God's telling today? That's a great question. So I think, um, we talked a lot about that church at Charlotte began mm-hmm. over 50 years ago. Mm-hmm. So this, this, there's a rich history here that began at Carmel middle school which is super close to our campus, which is really amazing. Yep. And by the way, if you missed it, Chris did go to middle school there. (laughs) I just love that reference. Mm. Just like, it's really cool. Like Mm. when you talk about God and the story that he's weaving and telling about our lives, the uniqueness of how the we're interwoven different seasons. Mm -hmm. And so for us to be at a place that, um, has been established and people diligently and, so thoughtfully cared for the future, Mm -hmm. um, for the building that was built first, that is now the next gen building and partial admin. Like I keep hearing stories. Like I Mm -hmm. was talking with a volunteer on Sunday and he was like, there was a point when the kitchen, which there's a kitchen in there now that's small, Mm -hmm. went almost the width of that building that, that was part of their fellowship hall. And they would fix food for the youth. And he did that. Like it was, he was telling me all about, he had a deep fryer and he did hot dogs and hamburgers and he did the fries and like just the, there's so many rich stories of the history of South Mm -hmm. Park of the, over time, that property that is 10 acres there in Carmel and, and Colony has had so many different iterations. And this is just the next iteration for us. Mm Um, the next gen building. And then in 81 that was built, like they started in 76 and then 81, they built the gym. All of those buildings have kind of outlived their life (laughs) span because that gym is, um, it was a prefab. So it has, uh, it needs a lot of work. So uh, understanding that the, the building needs came before the capacity needs. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I think that's an important detail for us yeah. as we talk about the future. Yeah, no, that's good. I love to, I think Chris said this on Sunday, but like the people that helped, um, establish church at Charlotte were thinking of us. Yes. And, and in the same way, like we, as we go forward in this vision, God has given us, um, we are thinking of people and, and you did a great job, Heath. Like you always are like, Hey, there's a family moving here from New York or from California. Mm-hmm. They're moving into your neighborhood. Like, are we creating space for them? But I love that. Like the people who like, they were thinking of us, you yes, know, and they didn't absolutely. know us in the same way. We're thinking of people who are moving here to Charlotte. And, and we don't know them, you know, but they're coming to our city and will we create space because people created space for us. Like that's mm-hmm. really a cool <laughs> kingdom mindset. The you kingdom know? mindset of going, we want to create a space that can help people yeah. know, find mm-hmm. and follow Jesus 
generations ahead of us. Mm-hmm. This is incredible, an incredible privilege to be a part yeah. of this time and this season, but it's the, it's the work of the gospel. Mm-hmm. And this yeah. is the work of the church is that we create space and help people get to heaven. Yeah. Um, so I think that is, mm-hmm. um, it's super exciting at, at South Park and, and Matthews mm-hmm. of how we're going to be able to do that. Yeah. That's really good. That's really mm-hmm. great. And then Heath, do you mind sharing a little bit, um, and you talked about it on Sunday, but just a little bit of the Matthews history and like, um, maybe the timeline there of how we got to be here with yeah. Matthews. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Great the question. bathtub in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> a little shout out to that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to shout out yeah. the bathtub. Yeah. yeah. Well, our senior pastor, Chris, um, he just heard, heard from the Lord to plant a new church in Charlotte and a uh, church of faith, hope, and love. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and so he began meeting with people in his living room, he and, he and Jen. Mm-hmm. And, um, and he cast a vision about what this church could look like. And, of course, they outgrew their living room mm. and needed more space. Yeah. And so um, they moved into a community center in a neighborhood for a few weeks. Mm-hmm. And then one of the members of, 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 the, of the church said, hey, we have this cheerleading g- gymnastics <laughs> uh, building over on <laughs> Monroe Road. And yeah. we have this uh, storage warehouse that we could clear out and create a worship space. And so... I think the first time they walked into that room, it was just filled with all kinds of stuff uh, from years and years ago uh, that had collected dust over time. And I, you mentioned a bathtub. I yeah. think there's just <laughs> random stuff in there, random right? Pictures. Cockroaches, I'm sure. <laughs> so but, I'm sure. But they <laughs> cleared it out and uh, started worshiping there on Sunday mornings. Um, cool. And so it grew from mm-hmm. there and more and more people engaged with what God was doing mm-hmm. uh, at New Charlotte. And um, yeah, and then just... I think I stepped in 2011. Um, okay. My family and I started going to New Charlotte. Okay, cool. And uh, I helped launch the student ministry. Awesome. Um, helped uh, connect people to community, much like you're doing now, both mm. of you doing now. Mm. And so, and Chris graciously gave me a few, a few shots a year to mm. get up there and preach, That's preach good. God's word mm. and share messages. And grateful for him and his mentorship yeah. and, and friendship and leadership. And and so slowly it just. Well, not slowly so much. Over the course of the next couple of years, um, uh, mm-hmm. hundreds of people, mm-hmm. I think, started coming. Uh, and so we had to add a service uh, and create more space. And so um, and I, I, as I prepared this past week's message, it was really fun to, to look back mm-hmm. and to see cool. God's faithfulness. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, oh, just the... Just imagining the hundreds and hundreds of students that have been mentored mm-hmm. at local elementary school, Title One School, Greenway mm-hmm. Park, and Idlewild, mm-hmm. and and to think about all the children dedicated on the stage up there o- over the years, mm-hmm. including my daughter Isley. Mm-hmm. People have gotten married on that stage. Mm-hmm. Uh, people have gotten baptized in that room, and and just all the changed lives. Uh, I'm thinking about one friend who, I think I shared this in the message yeah. on Sunday, who uh, whose marriage was just crumbling mm-hmm. um, and just in pieces. Uh, and he was in his car, stuck in mm. traffic, out on Monroe Road, just uh, in tears. Mm. Um, and he lifted up his his uh, his eyes from the steering wheel and saw a sign, mm. and it said New Charlotte, mm-hmm. the Church of Faith, Hope, and Love. Mm. And he said to himself, "I need that." Cool. <laughs> and so that Sunday, he came to church and received Christ, and uh, his whole family was transformed from there. And so that's one of countless that's stories cool. of people's lives literally transformed by the power of the gospel. People finding Jesus, people following Jesus uh, because there was space, because people uh, before us created mm-hmm. space. And, uh, mm-hmm. and of course, over the last a number of years, um, much has been invested mm-hmm. uh, in, in, in Monroe Road and in, in that facility. Um, uh, landscaping, paint, mm-hmm. signage, acoustics, uh, of course, uh, Owning the building now and owning mm-hmm. the building across the yeah. street where we have office space. And uh, and so, so much has been done thanks to generosity, mm-hmm. uh, not just from a building standpoint, from a brick and mortar standpoint, but from a changed lives standpoint. Yeah. And looking ahead, it's exciting. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's exciting uh, to think about all that he has done, mm-hmm. is doing, and will yeah. do through, um, through, through, through the Matthews congregation. And so I'm sure your next question is what's to come, right? Like yes. what, what's next? <laughs> yes, definitely. What is next? No. Yeah, yeah. I do love like the stories that you're telling and that 
Chris is telling that mm-hmm. you're telling is like, it's just about people. And mm-hmm. it's just so cool. Cause I, I think that's like what Chris's thing is, right. Is like, or this, you know, here near far is, is what matters most to God. It's, it's people, right. Mm-hmm. You know, people are the mission. And so when you talk about like the one person who, you know, um, was in a, in a crisis and saw our church and, and came in, you know, and, mm-hmm. um, like people are the mission. So mm-hmm. that's just cool. I can hear, I'm like listening. I'm like, yeah, this is about people. It's like exciting, you know, like mm. to think about. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think when last week's story video was John and yes. this week yeah. with Graham and Libby, um, just the beauty of the work that God is doing mm-hmm. in individuals yeah. and it, it, the church is the, we call the building the church, but it's actually the people of God yeah, yeah. and, and seeing and hearing of transform the transformation that is happening in the lives of the people that are coming into the doors of new city. Hmm. Like that's the most amazing, um, honor to get to be a part of and to hear them talk about, we found Jesus and now it's the work of being his disciple. Yeah. And good. that, that's, that is our work. Mm-hmm. That's good. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. Um, the anchor verse, as we kind of launch into like what's next, mm-hmm. what's coming, the anchor verse for this week was Acts 1, 4 through 8. Um, and I want to read verse 8. It says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So it's, mm-hmm. and, and you guys talked about on Sunday, Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, to the ends of the earth. So what is that for New City? And so it's kind of the the here, the near, and the far. Um, so what are our here, near, far buckets? Kind of in the frame of that of that verse. And I love that um, you know when we talk about here, which we'll kind of like lean on in this in this conversation. But it's really here is like we start right where we are. Like disciple making, <laughs> discipleship is like right where we are, and it's the people in our office, in our neighborhood, on our street that go to our pool. Mm-hmm. Um, those are the people. Like we're starting with that's our here, you know. And mm-hmm. so, um, so our here near far buckets. I'll kind of talk through a little bit of information because I think like the numbers are really important because mm-hmm. um, the numbers they they tell a story and they represent people. Um, so I think this is like really important information and you guys like chime in. So it's not just like a monologue, but, um, <laughs> so the here, so what does this look like for new city? Um, the here near far bucket. So the here we talked about is like South Charlotte. Mm-hmm. That's our here. And, um, Chris always talks about like the 20 minute radius from both of our campuses. And you talked about that too, Heath is that's kind of the, the here mm-hmm. and that stretches like really far. It really, it, <laughs> yeah, it go goes out to like 20 yeah. minutes, Fort Mill, yeah. Valentine, mm-hmm. Weddington, like uptown, yeah, like 10 mile radius from, from each yes, congregation. Yes. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the here, mm-hmm. um, near, which we'll unpack as we go, but that's really Charlotte Metro, mm-hmm. um, the 11 County area surrounding Charlotte proper, um, which, I think the stat there's like 2.7 million people that live, mm. which is crazy here now. Yeah. Here yeah. now. And that's like the growth, like more and more people are moving to Charlotte because it's a great city to live. Yeah. It's, it's a wonderful yeah. place. What to is live. the, yeah. is it like, think, is it four? It's like 40,000 people move to Charlotte Metro area a year in a year. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I think our Wild. projection in the next, is it 10 years? Yes. It'll be 4.7 million. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. one of the, so we are one are of the fastest here. growing cities. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's right. Mm-hmm. And then I have a note, guess what God loves most people. Mm-hmm. Um, and then far, the far bucket is East Africa. Mm-hmm. Um, and the narrative and the story and the hope out of that, out of that region is really cool. Um, one out of four people in the world will be African in the next generation. And in the last 100 years, there was a 6,000% increase in Christianity in sub sahara Africa, which is so beautiful to it's me. It's fascinating. Wow. Um, so the population is exploding and Christianity is exploding. So that's where, why we're focusing on far. Mm-hmm. Um, so want to really focus on here. And so um, that here bucket and what that looks like for South Park and mm-hmm. Matthews and those areas. Um, a few more numbers here, if you guys, um, just like the growth um, there is, and Suzanne, you can speak more mm-hmm. into this, but there is a 140% increase in <laughs> South Park attendance from 2021 and 2024 and 156% yeah. increase in next gen. And what that tells us is like, like, like I said, numbers represent people mm-hmm. and numbers tell a story. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, numbers don't just exist on their own. They tell, they tell us something. And that means the church is growing and it's growing younger, which mm-hmm. I think is really cool. 
if you when you are at South Park on a Sunday mm-hmm. morning, um, I have I continue to congratulate our parents when they get to the courtyard because <laughs> they walked it. from yeah. the gym mm-hmm. through the preschool hallway and now they're up. Like I'm like, you made it. Congratulations. Grab a coffee. Yeah, we have a seat. Like yes. come on in and. Um, it's a, it's a really big deal and it's really cool to watch the families that are coming mm-hmm. and it's, it's not just people with kids that are coming. Cause there are, there are a lot of those, but there are young adults that are moving to the, to Charlotte for their first jobs that are coming in. And then we've got generationally, we're growing as like grandparents come to the area to be with family. So it's a really amazing thing to meet people who are coming because of a lot of different reasons. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. So, well, can you talk through um, what the here plan is yes. for South Park? So, as we have grown and continue mm-hmm. to grow, we are literally using every space on campus on Sunday morning. Um, we actually converted a closet in the gym to a classroom for a small group for so kids. Creative. Yeah. We, we, we've get, we're getting really creative, which yeah. is really fun. Um, we are looking at the project that will mean that we will. Um, take what is our worship center and that will become the next gen building. It is Mm -hmm. the most recently built building and um, that will get renovated um, in stages. So phase one of, of this project is that we will renovate the wings that will give us space for kids space on Sunday mornings. um, And that will start, Hopefully, as Chris talked about the timeline, Mm -hmm. um, we have a timeline. That doesn't mean it will actually go what we have put on paper. So please hold this loosely. But the goal is to start that mid-year next year. And um, that renovation will happen. And then we will move into phase two, which will be the building of a worship center, which is super exciting that we will have a worship center that will seat around 1066. So we're at 670 right now going to 1066. One of the things about, and he talked about this, they talked about this well in the video and on Sunday morning, like if it's a non-ticketed event, people don't always sit really close together Mm -hmm. and because you're just getting to know people and you don't know them all yet. So we, if you're at South Park, you've heard us say, Hey, if you have room and can scoot in, we would appreciate it. Um, so that is because we, we, we need more space on Sunday morning. The beauty of this and the beauty of the plan for me that I want to say is that our room now feels intimate and the beauty is the new room will be the same distance from the front from the front of the room to the back of the room. It's not getting any bigger that way. It's going to grow in width so that you're still going to feel close to the platform. And I think that's a really important thing for, for folks to understand. We're not building something massive. We're building something that will help us in, in the future with a flat floor and movable seating that you guys have at Matthews. I'm not envious at all. (laughs) We love it. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe I am a little bit. Okay. I'm going to two confessions. I am a little bit envious of a flat floor that doesn't have fixed seating because you can make it fit where you are. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't have that. And it, we have rows that are really tight together. Um, and so it'll be really great to have a space that can fit and can grow with the, the church mm-hmm. as we, as we move forward, um, in the future, but it's also not a massive space. Mm-hmm. Um, he has shared this, he shared it Sunday and we, we've shared it before. If we had the space now this past Easter, we would have still needed three services. So it's not like mm-hmm. a lot of people wonder, how's it going to fit in the neighborhood? It's not going to be a big, we're not going tall. We're not going massive. We're going to fit our property and where we are, but it's also going to help us help people have a space in for generations to come. Yeah, that's great. That's so. really great. Why, like, why is this the plan? I know you kind of talk through it, but when I kind of connect like the growth in South Charlotte or like even the numbers that we just talked about, and um, just the plan for here, like how do those connect or why is this our answer to that? For right now, for where we are, this will help us meet the needs. Mm-hmm. And the, the next gen space that is the current mm-hmm. worship center will double the square footage of what we have in next gen now. So like mm-hmm. this will help us have space for growth for the future with more numbers. Mm-hmm. Does that make mm-hmm. sense? Yeah, that's great. I was like, did my question make sense? So no, great I job. did. <laughs> Your question was great. I was like, Oh, but oh. yeah, that, how are we going to do this? What for, yeah. for where we are, mm-hmm. this fits in our 10 acres of property. Mm-hmm. We have enough parking. Mm-hmm. Um, and we also have Carmel park access, which is right there. Mm-hmm. 
Chris shared this Sunday, um, Mecklenburg Parks and Rec, they're not interested in selling us any property. Um, so we've had that conversation. If that question comes up, like, why can't we just add on? Like, the park is right there. Yeah, they like their, they like their property, and they're not willing to part with any of it. So I get that. This is, I mean, yeah. I, and I love the park. It's a yeah. great space. So with the park there and where we are, this is yeah. the best use of what we have right now. Yeah. That's good. That's great. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Heath, would you um, kind of talk through a little bit about what it looks like for Matthews? Like what's the plan for Matthews in terms of here near far? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think one, one phrase that Chris has used before that I, I like to steal is um, that facilities yeah. facilitate, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, so facility, a building, brick and mortar, it's kind of a means to mm -hmm. an end. Um, so I know, you know, I, I, even I can get lost in the, I'm, I'm giving money to a, a mm -hmm. building, you know? Um, yes, but it's so much bigger than that, right? Uh, because of the, the building, we can have more space for people to come and hear the gospel um, and good. be transformed that's by good. the power of the love of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's kind of the common, common thread yeah, throughout all these conversations. Um, and that's why the first couple of weeks here of the series, we've really, we've really tried to set the tone that it's God's mission mm -hmm. that He's given us to go make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I commanded you, yeah. and to um, reach people here, yeah, near, and far, good. help mm -hmm. people find and follow Jesus. So, anyway, that's great. I think it's it, for me. It's always helpful to be reminded of the why, yeah. right? Because you can mm -hmm. get bogged good. down by the. Um, the details, mm -hmm. um, but certainly all that's important. Um, so love, love the vision mm -hmm. that God has given our church, um, South Park, Matthews. Matthews is, um, the location is incredible. Mm -hmm. um, I think I shared this past Sunday of, you know, the, the, the major intersection of the world back in the day of the ancient Near East was where God, God decided to plant his people. Mm. The crossroads of the world was mm -hmm. uh, where he planted his people mm. so that um, they could put on display the glory of God, the presence of God, mm -hmm. so that more and more people as they passed by um, would say, hmm, something's different there. Um, mm. I want to get to know the God, the God of Israel. Uh, and so in the same way, yeah. hey, God has handpicked um, us. And he has been intentional to plant us here, 11011 Monroe Road. Hmm. It's no accident that we're here. It's no accident that, yeah, we're at this major intersection, so to speak, where we uh, have the opportunity to be good steward of it. Uh, and so I think it's like 15,000 to 20,000 cars drive by um, our, yeah. our building every day. Yeah, um, that's, that's a lot of cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like that's that's, a lot. and it is mm -hmm. busy every, all mm -hmm. the time. Yeah. Like it's never mm -hmm. not busy. Right. And I met somebody at a uh, group launch the other day mm -hmm. and they said, yeah, we kept getting stuck in traffic yeah. <laughs> out here at Monroe road, but we kept seeing the sign. Cool. And so now they're involved in a group. And, and so anyway, yeah. So we would love to have the doors open all week long to engage the community. Mm -hmm. Um, to leverage this incredible location that God has given us. Um, and so we, uh, we've been given a vision of a coffee shop. And so we've got amazing space already. And so we're gonna invest some money to create in, uh, a coffee shop environment where the doors are open all week long for mm -hmm. the community. That's great. And so we're envisioning kids after school coming and mm -hmm. having study groups yeah. together. Uh, we're envisioning business meetings there in the coffee shop. Um, just having a revolving door where you've got people that maybe wouldn't normally set foot in a church. Mm. They're just coming to a coffee shop. Oh, and by the way, um, we have services right there on Sunday mornings yeah. from uh, 9, 30, and 11. Mm -hmm. So it's a way of inviting people to church without inviting them to church. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so we want to be good stewards of what God's given us. So really excited about that. Also, um, uh, also, New City has has a heart for counseling mm -hmm. and yeah. care mm -hmm. and really uh, empathizing with where people are and their struggle in life. And so we've currently been offering uh, counseling um, in in the worship center building. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Church in the City. Mm -hmm. And um, we want to remove any financial barriers for people to access 
counseling. Uh, I've been to counseling. Many of us have been to counseling. I recommend counseling. I went last week. I I know. We, we yeah. full heartedly <laughs> yeah. believe in it. It's yes. part, of, our, my, it's part yeah. of my story and yeah. discipleship journey mm-hmm. for oh. sure. And there's a stigma around it like, oh, wow, mm. you're going to counseling. But if we're all trying to be more like Jesus, then yeah. why not? Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. It's a safe place uh, to just be real and honest about struggles and mm-hmm. have somebody provide uh, some encouragement and, and counseling for you. So. Yeah, so we're gonna um, we're gonna across the street from um, uh, from the worship center. We've got we already own that building. Uh, we're actually sitting in it right now. We yeah, are. We are here. Uh, it's a beautiful yeah. building. Mm-hmm. Um, so by the way, we're debt free, which is incredible. Mm-hmm. Thank thank God. Um, but we're gonna be um, having a expand more expansive and large space uh, for counseling in this church in the city um, uh, ministry. Mm-hmm. And so yeah, we just envision more and more people. Um, getting access to counseling uh, through through New City Matthews uh, mm-hmm. through New City Church, so mm-hmm. um, really excited about that. Mm-hmm. Um, and having some more office spaces as well, I think that's part yeah. of the plan. So, mm-hmm. uh, and I believe in the last nine years, yeah. we've invested over six million dollars uh, in the Matthews congregation um, in all different ways. Mm-hmm. And so, um, just want to remind our congregation of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, cause I, I think it's easy to, you know, look at the guidebook and say, Oh wow, there's all this, all these funds and resources going towards South park, which for, for, for good reason, right. A two fifty year old buildings that desperately need some help and, and they need in, in, in South park needs more space, mm-hmm. more capacity. Mm-hmm. And so, so much has already been done here at Matthews in so much more w- will be done. Mm. And so what I appreciate about it is, um, you know, when, when people, um, part of our community have an opportunity to to give and be a part of what God's doing here. And, and it's going to take everybody who call, call mm-hmm. New City home to fulfill this mission God's given us. Mm-hmm. Um, that when when we give to New City, and Lindsay and I, or my, my, my Lindsay, the one who spells it L-Y-N-D-S-A-Y, <laughs> uh, and, you know, when we give uh, as a family to mm-hmm. New City, yeah. um, we're giving to everything we love about New City. And so mm-hmm. we talk about this That's vision cool. here near FAR campaign. Uh, it's a one fund, which mm-hmm. I think is great. Uh, so when you give, you're giving to everything that you love about New City, including Matthews, including South Park, including Next Gen Student Ministry. Um, and uh, we're, we're excited to to see what God does. I think he, he will do above and beyond what we ever possibly ask for or imagine mm-hmm. or dream of. That's just who he is. Mm-hmm. And so um, it's a step of faith for sure. I mean, we're, we're asking people for help, uh, and it's a lot, mm-hmm. but um, it's, a, it's a big vision. Yeah. It's a big vision. We have a big God, and we know he can do extraordinary things. Mm-hmm. And Absolutely. our job is just to be faithful. He's in charge of the fruit, and so we're just surrendering surrendering it all to him. But mm-hmm. anyway, that, that's, that's, great. That, that's Matthews, yeah. and, uh, and, and, um, and all, all, all of that is, uh, is with the heart of Man, how can we create more space for people to find and follow Jesus here, yes. near, and far? That's what we're all about. Mm. And if it takes having a, a larger building, if it takes just creating yeah. more and more seats for mm-hmm. people to come mm-hmm. and taste and see that God loves them, mm. that God created them, that God is with them, then mm. let's let's do it. Right. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. When I think about the counseling center, which we'll dive into um, next week, um, but it is the a pain point in our city absolutely, um, and really yeah. I think everywhere but mm-hmm. in Charlotte I don't know anyone that's not touched by some sort of mental health or mental illness um, and it's the cry of our neighbors and mm-hmm. so for us to be able to provide a space for our neighbors our community to be able to receive counseling without a financial barrier or you know just make it easily accessible um, mm. is really cool to me. So mm. I'm excited that we're doing that. Super important. Yeah, it's really mm-hmm. important. So, mm. um, well, before we wrap up, I don't want to put you on the spot, Heath, but we've been asking some of our guests to kind of personalize this vision of like, what does it look like for you to live out your faith here near far? Is there anything for you that you're like, here's what I'm doing here. Here's what I'm doing near and far. Hmm. Just personally. Yeah, personally. Personal question. Yeah, personally. I am on the hot seat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Surprise. <laughs> yeah, surprise. Yeah. We wouldn't move here if it weren't for that vision, if it weren't for that big, hairy, audacious, <laughs> uh, incredible vision, right, to reach people here, near, and far. 
with the love of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so every big vision requires a disruption and some kind of sacrifice. And so um, for for me and, and Lindsay and the kids to move here, it's a big deal. And this yeah. is, this, I'm not saying this to toot my own horn. Hey, look yeah. at me, I'm, I'm a man of great faith, but um, certainly we're walking in obedience and we're just pumped about uh, what we get to be a part of here. And it's okay. so much bigger than a building, so much bigger than um, the stage and, mm -hmm. and uh, the different programs, ministries that we offer. It is it is a movement, really a spirit-filled movement uh, yeah. of God. Yeah. Um, and so we are just going to be privileged to be a part of it. That's great. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah. We're glad you're here, yeah. you and Lindsay and your family. Yeah. Um, would you mind praying to close our time? I'd love to. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. God, we thank you. We thank you for who you are. Lord, you are a God of, of, of goodness and mercy and grace and love and joy. And we stand in awe of all that you are, God. We um, are created by you. We are saved uh, by grace, uh, Lord. And you sustain us each day through the power of your Holy Spirit. And Lord, uh, this is not our church. Uh, this is your church. Mm -hmm. This is not our city. It is your city. It's not our world. It's your world. And, and God, we are your servants. And we want to humbly just say, here we are. God, use us. Um, and so guide us by the power of your Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Lord, um, assure us each day that you are with us. Uh, and Lord, we, we know that you will go ahead of us these next few weeks as we continue to cast vision as we continue to pray and ask, okay, God, uh, what do you want us to do? How do you want us to be a part of what you're doing here at New City uh, and in Charlotte um, and across the world? And so, God, we thank you for um, each person um, mm -hmm. who's a part of New City, each person who will be a part of New City. And God, help us to, to daily consider how we can create more space for people to find and follow you. Um, we love you and we thank you for this time together. And we just pray your blessing upon the rest of this day. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Heath. And thank okay. you all for joining. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.